New at 530 with all the snow and the forecast calling for more. A lot of students are expecting the day off tomorrow. Fingers crossed, but the superintendent at one area school district is saying not so fast. Here's 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram with more. It is clearly snowing out, but is it enough to close schools tomorrow? One superintendent says don't count the snowflakes before they fall. I enjoy giving my students a hard time about uh, whether or not I'm going to call a snow day, and, and they enjoy begging for uh, mercy and trying to get me to call a snow day. So Dr. Steve Matthews, a superintendent for the Novi Community School District, sent out a note to students. It's 9 a.m. on Wednesday morning, and it's snowing. If you're willing, there's a life lesson to be learned today. You can't count the snowflakes until they begin to fall. He says high school students created a hashtag on Twitter, Believe in Steve, and have been sending him messages, some even carving it in the snow at school, trying to convince him to give them a snow day tomorrow. Do you want school to be closed tomorrow? Snow day. Do you need a snow day? Oh, definitely. <laughs> These sixth graders are pretty convincing, too. The roads are supposed to be really icy, and that might not be good for picking the kids up. That's the face telling your superintendent no school tomorrow. Yep. Do it one more time. Please, no school tomorrow. <laughs> but Dr. Matthews says closing schools are not as easy as your ABCs and 123s, especially if roads are cleared in the morning. We won't make that decision until early tomorrow morning. And you heard it from Dr. Matthews. He says he's going to make the final decision early tomorrow morning as to whether or not he will be closing schools. In Novi, Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News. Sometimes parents are hoping for that. Uh... Yeah. <laughs>